Hey everybody, bit of a different one today, bear with me, this is kind of interesting and I'd love to know if you know anything about this or just to highlight this to you if you ever have this sort of thing happen, but particularly with this printer. So this is the printer that I use for my business, for printing my invoices, for printing templates for things, for printing everything I need. I never need to print colour, so I got myself the cheapest laser toner car, you know, toner printer, that's in, just in black, black and white obviously. Um, well, it's supposed to be black and yellow if you use yellow paper, but you know what I'm saying. Um, this is on Amazon for £26.88 and it comes with a starter cartridge, which is supposedly a cartridge with half the amount of prints that a normal cartridge has. So, using the printer, great cheap little printer as I say, works great for all the things I need, it's nice and fast, it's got wireless on it, I've never managed to get that to work, but I don't need to. Um, it's a good little printer, but it said to me, you have 10% toner left. So I'm like, okay, I better order a new toner cartridge. Going to Amazon, toner cartridge. Toner cartridge for this £26.88 printer is £28.60, which means it's about just under two quid, £1.80 odd, more expensive to buy the cartridge on its own than a printer with a cartridge. Now, the reason for this is because, as they say, this has a starter cartridge, and the one that you purchase has twice as much toner in it. And I wondered if that's true or not. Well, I decided... I think they're lying, um, but as there isn't a lot in it, let's just buy a whole new printer with a new toner cartridge in it and just see what happens with the one that I've currently got running in, you know, in my office. Well, that one told me that it got to 0% three and a half months ago. I have printed a couple of hundred pages at least since then. Loads of invoices. Um, I've done loads of templates and things. I've done loads of when I don't have to just print stuff out. I've done loads. And the thing is still going, and I haven't even had to shake the toner cartridge once yet. And I'm like, there is no way this is the dregs of the cartridge. So what is telling the, pr the printer industrial computer that it's running out? Well, can it physically measure the toner? Well, the way that a toner cartridge works um, is you have a roller, which is negatively charged, and then it uses a laser to... Basically, a laser prints a positive charge onto that negativity charge roller, it then rolls over the powder, which is the toner, which then sticks to those places and then with the heat gets pressed into the paper and that's how it prints. It's almost a bit like powder coating, in the way that it's, you know, the, it's electronically, electrostatically held onto the right places and then it's he heated on to make it bond. Well, because it's a powder, I don't see any way of them actually measuring that, so they must just put a default amount of pages on each. Uh, cartridge, you know, so like if it prints 400 pages, that's then it thinks it's done 400 pages, but that's not going to take into account if you did 400 pages where you just had a little X in the middle versus 400 pages of full text. So as I say, my one upstairs has been telling me now for three and a half months that it ran out and it's still running absolutely perfectly. And then I was thinking about this logically, like when you make a toner cartridge, the cheapest thing to go in that is most likely going to be the toner. If you mass produce something that's the same, you save money. Opposed to making ones that are half full and fully full, what I actually think they do is they just take full cartridges and just tell the chip on the cartridge it has half as many prints. So people see it gets to zero and go, oh, well, that one's run out, and throw it away. I fully believe that that £28 cartridge is exactly the same as the one that's in here. You know, the starter cartridge. Because the difference is supposed to be something like 600 prints for the starter and like 1200 for the full. But it's been going on for far too long now for me to believe that they actually put less toner in these cartridges. I don't know, it, this just struck me as being really stupid that the cartridge actually costs more than the printer. Because what people are going to end up doing, like I did, is buying an entirely new printer. Because I think you're going to get as many prints as if you got a normal cartridge. But the only difference is, you end up throwing away a printer every single time. That is so wasteful when it's got that much plastic in it. In this day and age, we really have to be thinking more you know, environmentally conscious. Yeah, probably I should have just paid that extra two quid and got the cartridge, but I, I wanted to know. Obviously, the only way I could truly find out whether what I'm saying here is true is I'd have to get this, then get my other printer with one of the, uh, with the full cartridges, and I'd have to sit there and just keep printing and see which one lasts longer. I really don't believe that this would be any different. I just, it got this gut feeling, it's not any different. I know this is quite off topic for my channel, but it's just something that I wanted to talk about because it was just like, I cannot believe this. 
So what do you think? Do you think I'm right? Do you think they put the same size cartridges in it? Maybe someone, you might even work in a similar industry, you might know if they do or don't do this. I've done some research online. I can't find out about these people because as I say, this is, this seems like this might be somehow Amazon backed or something because Amazon seem to be the only place that sell this brand. But I have read that other people have tested this and found that the starter cartridges in some inkjets have literally the exact same ink cartridges in them. What do you think? Let me know. If you found this interesting, leave a like on the video. Catch you next time. This channel is made possible by the support of the audience. Please check out the links in the description and all the different ways you can help support the channel. Any help is greatly appreciated.